Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area on this fun day Monday. Please, guys, before I start reading, please hit like and please hit share so everyone gets to hear me read fun and exciting books like the one I'll be reading to you today. Then um, when I'm done, I'm going to be putting a link up in a few minutes. You can just click on it. It'll take you straight to YouTube to Audrey's Reading Area. And I'm going to ask you to just smash that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and smash it for me. Now, the fun and exciting book that I'll be reading to you today is One Tricky Monkey on Top. One Tricky Monkey on Top. Got my little monkey right here. You see my monkey here? Oh, yeah. One Tricky Monkey on Top. This is the picture of the back. Of the book one tricky monkey on top all right it says that this is a book about counting animals a book about counting animals now child child's world says moncure trying to see who wrote the book it says it's written by jane belk moncure and it's illustrated by Linda Hohag and Lori Jacobson. Wow, nice, right? Published by The Child's World in Mankato, Minnesota. But again, One Tricky Monkey Up on Top is written by Jane Belk Moncure and it's illustrated by Linda Hohag and Lori Jacobson. Nice. Over here it says, do you know a library is a magic castle with many word windows in it. Did you know that? What is a word window? You ask, what is a word window? Hmm. If you answered a book, you're right. A book. A book is a word window because the words and the pictures that tell about the words let you look and see many things. Books are your windows to the wide, wide world around you. Yes. The library, a magic castle. Come to the magic castle when you are growing tall. Rows upon rows of word windows line every single wall they reach up high as high as the sky and you want to open them all for every time you open one a new adventure has begun nice melissa opens a word window Guess what she sees? A circus train is coming down the track. Clickety, clickety, clack. Help, says the little clown. My circus animals ran away. One tricky monkey went that way. I will find him, says Melissa. Melissa looks for one tricky monkey on the road. All she finds are hopping toads. How many? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Now Melissa looks at a coconut tree. What does she see? Monkey, she says. Come with me. But the monkey is full of tricks. He puts coconuts on his feet. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he stands on his head. Oh. Melissa puts one tricky monkey in car number one. Who, be who belongs in car number two, asks Melissa. Two seals, says the clown. 
Melissa looks for two seals in a boat. All she finds are fish on a line. How many? Let's count how many fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Then she looks for them on an ice float. What does she see on the ice float? Two seals, come with me, says Melissa. She puts the seals in car number two. But what, do, but what does the tricky monkey do? He tickles a seal and makes it squeal. Aw. He tickles the seal and makes it squeal. Who belongs in car number three? Asks Melissa. Three lions, says the clown. But I must get the monkey down. I will find the lion, said Melissa. She looks for three lions in a truck. All she finds are pigs and a duck. How many? Well, there's one duck. Let's see how many pigs there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job counting with me, you guys. Then she looks for three lions in a box. All she finds are shoes and socks. <laughs> shoes and socks. Mm -mm. How many? One, two, three, four socks. One, two, three, four shoes. Now Melissa looks for lions in a cave in the rocks. What does she see? Three lions. Come with me, says Melissa. She puts the lions in car number three. The tricky monkey swings down from a tree. He pulls a lion's tail and makes it wail. Who belongs in car number four? Asks Melissa. Four hippos, says the clown. Tricky monkey, you come down. <laughs> Aw. Melissa looks for hippos in a pen. All she finds are chicks and a hen. How many? Well, we see there is one hen and we see one, two, three, four, five chicks. Wow, five chicks. She puts the hippos in car number four. Guess who sneaks in through the door? Who tiptoes on a hippo's nose, then swings away on a fire hose? Who belongs in car number five? Five elephants, says the clown. What does Melissa say? Melissa looks for five elephants in a house. All she finds are cats and a mouse. How many? One mouse, one, two, three, four cats. She looks under a banana tree. What does she see? What does she say? Now we can do a trick, says the clown. If that tricky monkey is still around, who is up on top? Who's up on top, you guys? Good job. Monkey comes up on top. You can read these words with Melissa. Monkey and it's one monkey, two seals, three lions, four hippos, 
five elephants, six hen and chicks, seven coconuts, eight pigs and a duck, nine fish, and 10 toads. Wow, good job, you guys. The end, the end. Thank you for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area as I read fun and exciting books like this to you. Don't forget, tell everybody to come on over and smash that subscribe button. And I will see you again tomorrow. What time will I be here tomorrow? Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area at 5 o'clock p.m. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, you guys. I will see you again. I want to thank everybody that comes here to listen to me read all these fun and exciting books to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing also. And thank you for going to Audrey's reading area and smashing that subscribe button for me. I will see you again tomorrow live. L-I-V-E. Live at five. That's L-I-V-E. Live at five tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only one day away. I will see you soon.